Nigeria, Rwanda, also known as the land of a thousand hills, is a small country nestled within the heart of Africa, reputed for its uh, breathtaking beauty and vibrant wildlife. Now, to explore Rwanda's most magnificent tourist destinations and experience the thrill of a lifetime in the quest to encounter the majestic mountain gorillas, New Central's correspondent Bungani Siziba joined a group of journalists on an extraordinary adventure of Rwanda. Take a look. Rwanda, a country of resilience, natural wonders, and a vibrant culture. Our journey through its tourist sites left me in an awe of its beauty as I moved with its history. Our journey began at Rwanda Genocide Memorial, a place of profound importance in the country's history. Here people pay tribute to the victims and learn about the atrocities that occurred during the tragic events in 1994. It shows man's inhumanity to man. Sad also in the sense that it reflects the depth of wickedness. Human, the human mind is capable of conjuring. And it also tells me that at every point in time that we should seek for dialogue rather than resorting to using guns or ammunition for conflict resolution. What pained me most was the pictures of the children who could have been adults by now. Known as Hotel Rwanda, this hotel is a symbol of hope and bravery during the darkest times, housing over a thousand Rwandans during the genocide. One of the first things that struck me about Rwanda was the remarkable cleanliness. The streets are not only clean, but buzzing with life as locals zip past on their Boda Boda motorbikes. Just checking out the beautiful city of Chigali. We are taking a walk through the walkway area where at this place no cars are allowed, no motorbikes are allowed, just people walking, just bikes riding. The adventure took us to exploring Akagera National Park, a haven for wildlife enthusiasts. Here I witnessed the incredible diversity of wildlife that calls this place home. From the majestic elephants to playful rhinos, a unique opportunity for animal lovers like me and tourists alike to connect with nature and witness these magnificent creatures. Landscape is very beautiful. This morning we drove to the park. It was a bit scarce with animals, but we saw them all. And uh, so <clears throat> the weather for the moment is not so brilliant, but we can cope with that. The adventure didn't stop there. Everyone was determined to go beyond, to witness something truly extraordinary. So we set off to climb the towering volcano mountains, trekking through dense forest, tackling steep terrains. Here I pushed my limits. I can't take it anymore. How are you feeling? Oh my gosh, it's not easy. I'd rather watch these gorillas on TV. This trekking can never be easy. It's hectic. It's very hectic. But uh, for the love of nature and for that uh, experience, let me give it another try. The, just the first step. They leave <laughs> the desert volcano. And we're going up there. And the way they go, <laughs> you follow them. Are you going to make it? I don't think so. <laughs> Please greet, greet mama, mama Gorilla for me. <laughs> However, it was all worth it. Finally, what we had been longing for, what an experience that words cannot fully capture. The hardships we faced was overshadowed by the inspiring encounter with the magnificent mountain gorillas. Their gentle presence reminded us of the vital importance of conservation efforts. Rwanda, a jewel in Africa, a testament to the wonders of nature. It was amazing. I have, uh, I've long wanted to see the gorillas and just getting to see them up close. Um, especially the mother and baby as she was grooming the baby that was amazing oh it just reminds me that how close we are to wildlife um they're so similar to us like their mannerisms and i just immediately made me feel so much closer to this wildlife and and want to protect it even more and let me not forget the heartwarming encounters with the people here 
we were greeted with open arms and genuine smiles as we drove through the countryside. Children lined the streets, waving in joy as we passed by. So whether you are captivated by dark history, seeking urban vitality, craving wildlife encounters, or touched by the innate kindness of its people, Rwanda has it all. Yes. What a beautiful time I've had here in Rwanda, from their delicious meals to the breathtaking sights, and not forgetting the welcoming citizens. Murakoze, Rwanda. From the land of a thousand hills, Vongani Siziba, for News Central TV, Northern Province, Rwanda.